there are many times, many times when I, I re, more recently than than you do, I won't say it's more during college, I suppose, than during previously, where I've kind of looked to the sky, you know, God, you and me are going to do good things. We're going to do some good things. I don't know exactly how much it will be, you know. Uh, I, I, I certainly should hope I never care about fame. You know, well, I get history books or not, but good things. I have stuff to do. I'm not trying to brag. I'm saying the dreams are important. You know, you have a dream and you believe in it, and you can start living for it, and, and life makes more sense that way. That's another part of who I am. I think I have a bit of an idea of how to live. And that's why I was saying before, I said I'm not all stress. It's not just, not just all that, you know. Because, hey, it's, you know, it's not. There's hope here, too. There's a lot of healing. And anybody can go through that same healing, regardless of what you suffered. You could have, you could, you could be starving in Africa, you know. You could have all sorts of problems that I couldn't even imagine. I have faith, though, that you can still overcome it. <sighs> For God, all things are possible. So who am I? Unfiltered? It's hard to say everything. <laughs> But I think I've said what I need to say to now. You notice I have not told you what grades I got, how much money I have, where I live, my name even. You can say that, you know. But I'm trying to get down to the most important stuff first, in any case. This video will be the stuff that hopefully has the most important stuff. I keep using the word stuff. <laughs> So who am I? I'm a servant of the Lord. <laughs> companion. God is my companion. Not perfectly so. Because I, I, you know, I don't recall, to ret I don't return all those calls. <laughs> Nobody does. I got problems, sure. But I got dreams. That's who I am. I'm a person who's got things to do. Who, who wants to flow freely. Wants to move as he feels. Without any strange resistance to it. I, that's something I came up with, by the way. <laughs> I didn't learn that anywhere. Of course, it's not particularly useful in combat, <laughs> but I like it. I want to do my own thing, which I believe also happens to be God's thing. I, I think what I really love to do, if I really love it, it must be it must be right, All right? And I do love my stories. I do love my creative works, and I want to help people with that. When I, when I watch a movie by, by Hayao Miyazaki, huh? it's this feeling, oh, this is so beautiful, so touching. I, I want to do that. I'm going to do that, shall I say. He sounds a little more confident. Spread that feeling to others. Give them that sense of freedom. And then quite explicitly tell elite schools not to stress their students too much. And tell the students not to stress themselves through the school. I, I mentioned earlier other people that have suffered as I have. I'm sure there are. I don't particularly know of many. You don't just go up to someone and give them this long speech about how stressed you are inside, you know. I don't know anybody that got a stress disorder like me, so maybe I'm unique. I don't really think so. 
I think there's a lot of crap in that area. And you know what? There's a lot of crap in the opposite end. Doing too much is also doing too little. People lose faith in themselves. You know? Thus, in essence, you're losing faith on either side, aren't you? If you think about it, you work too hard to get this, this little grade that means nothing. It's because you have no faith in your innate ability. You don't, you don't, to a degree anyway, and at least for certain people, whatever, you don't really believe that you have value. So you place the, the, the value in these little things, in grades, in my example, or you know, maybe you're a workaholic, and it's in your, how much money you make, what position you hold. You, you know, you put all this value in something else, saying, if I have that, then I'll be meaningful. If I have that, then, then, I, then I am somebody. You know, because you don't really believe it. I hate to, of course, make general assumptions. I'm sure there's somebody looking at the screen right now saying, that doesn't make any sense. Well, okay, maybe it doesn't make sense for you. It made sense for me. I didn't really think I was worth much, in a sense. Like, I knew I did. Like, I, you know, if you ask me, yeah, I, you know, I, I think I'm, I'm a worthy human being, just like anybody else. But part of me didn't really believe that. And maybe part of me still doesn't really believe that, because I'm still imperfect. And then on the other side, if you believe you're really nothing, then you don't do anything. It's kind of the same thing both ways. If you believe you're something, though, and you do... Not anything according to this, some arbitrary standard, but according to what is really right, what is really good, what really brings you and others joy, what really espouses the idea of love thy neighbor as thyself. No phrasing. As thyself. Not actually more than thyself. As thyself. As in, you should love yourself also. Love others and yourself. Yourself at the expense of others doesn't work. That's selfishness. And others at the expense of yourself, trying to please your parents with these grades, and that, that doesn't work either. You'd better please your parents by just leaving, leading, I should say, by leading a good life. Long term, it'll work out better that way.